Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to lecture 24 of SBL and today we are going to cover e-marketing you must be familiar with some of it and uh, there are some additional things which we are going to study in e-marketing so we are going to focus on the seven piece the four piece are of a product and the three additional piece is for the service and it is also applicable for e-marketing then we are going to go to the six eyes the six I's stands for interactivity, intelligence, individualization, integration, industry structure, and independence of location. What are each of this will go in detail. And then e-branding, which is very important in today's world because everything is online. Okay. And customer relationship management. E-marketing is all about managing your customer, but online. Okay. So these are the four areas and we are starting with the seven piece. Okay. So the seven P stands for product price promotion place okay i'm sure that you know what each of this the meaning of it right you should have the right product with the right price promoted in the right way in the right place and the three additional piece that are added which becomes seven piece okay people for e-marketing you need people okay and even for services okay offline services those that are not online you need people to work right for example, this is a service which I'm giving to you. I'm teaching you. So you need a people. Okay. Next is process. You need a process for e-marketing to work. You need a process without it, it will not work. And physical evidence, for example, whether you have a website, it's a physical, physically people can see, you know, that there is a business like this out there. For example, Amazon, it has its own websites. People can see the product there. So it has a physical evidence. So this are the seven P's. Now, you don't need to understand what the seven P's are. Detail you don't have to explain, but you need to understand the effect on the seven P's of the e-marketing, okay, on product. Retailers offer a wider range of products, okay. If it was before, what happened was in store, you cannot offer a wider range of products. It will be limited. Some stocks will not be there. Some stocks will be too much customers will not be demanding for it but in online right through online websites you can offer wide range of products which was not possible in the traditional catalogs so that is a positive impact in uh, for the product okay when you are talking in terms of e-marketing then the next benefit is customization now you can customize product very easily when it is online compared to traditional traditional ways okay Many companies use the internet to vary the extended product. You can even give the online assistance. Now we are moving on to the price. The price is much lower now because things are moving to online. Prices have reduced comparatively. Because now through e-business, you can easily automate the process. Right? You don't need 10, 20 staff now. To deal with each customer one staff sitting at home can deal with all the customers next from the customer's point of view okay you see any online web is very easy to compare okay and transparency is very uh, transparent rather than you going to three four local shops and compare the prices it will take time you have to travel from here to there so all these costs are now reduced you can easily sit at home at your convenience and just check the prices on internet which one is uh, gives you the best value for money so there is more pressure on retailers to be competitive because prices have to be reduced on internet retailers need to be very competitive it's a pressure for the retailer prices can be changed to reflect demand easily you can change the price okay because for example in us okay the car rental firms they can monitor demand they keep monitoring demand and automatically they will change the price very rapidly they keep changing the price the term for this is known as dynamic pricing dynamic because it keeps changing if it was static price will not change so dynamic new pricing approaches becomes feasible such as auctions in auction you can easily give new pricing approaches okay so these are some advantages promotion from the point of promotion you can now use banner adverts or pop-ups in websites. You all know this uh, adverts that comes in between, right? 
when you want to see a video or suddenly it just pops out on your screen this is the way they promote now second they can now send you personalized email with your name right possibly based on past shopping history so whatever you have purchased in the past based on that they will give you similar related items to that they will give you emails relating for example you bought a shoe okay white color shoe let's say so they will give you similar maybe for other brands they will give you similar shoes like that and they'll be sending you emails promoting social media distribution and viral campaigns through social media they can promote they can run viral campaigns now place delivering over the internet we know it's much faster much cheaper right like music video or software it is available on wider range of devices and it can cover a wider geographic scope now people for service you need uh, you need a lot of people it's like high person to person contact in a service industry okay so it is important that this con contacts are conducted well okay you need to conduct it well because there is no quality control who will come and check whether the service you are giving is correct or not or it is up to quality or not so for e marketing is also this is very good okay because one person can sit and give specialized personalized service to many people it's one to many if you have to meet people personally you might not be able to give a wide range of people a lot of services maybe one to one takes a lot of time also but if it's on the internet on e market you can give services to wide range of people a simple example is simple of the use of electronic is to provide employees with an on screen script for dealing with queries one example how you can deal is okay you can provide employees with an on screen script maybe all the employees will have an on screen script okay if they know that this is the query this is how they need to deal with okay so so that's the thing depending on customer's answer the script branches to different options okay so if you can see that customer's answers are different which was not there on the screen script it you can change it okay now we're moving to process again in the service industry a customer is often exposed to more business process right like they need a lot of information you need to provide for the customer so what can you do some services they need more like for online insurance customers need a lot of services this is easy to provide online with maintaining high quality and it's easy to use also you just have to read on the screen at your convenience many people become frustrated with e-commerce site right because a small error is only reported at the end of the process this is a disadvantage of e-commerce does it even if a small error is made only at the end of the process you will know that an error has been made so people become frustrated with this so customers to start from the beginning again physical evidence physical evidence is also effects are the issues are there is the website well designed does it look good website frequently gives cus potential customer their first impression see through website only your customers will know they will get this first impression of your organization so that has to be well maintained and well designed this was not this was not an issue when it was uh, offline but now it's an issue for e marketing yes now before we go to the six i's so that's it about seven p's i just briefly wanted to discuss there is nothing very complex about it or advanced things that you need to know same simple for which just in terms of electronic marketing online uh, marketing how things changed now we are going to do a small question test to understand before we move on to the next section of our lecture that is the six i's test your understanding too okay so this case study is about a bookstore where they are going to sell unique kind of books like those books which are 50 years 
old or more than that okay so this type of books are not which are very much available okay i'm just giving you the background of the case study you can read it uh, so they can charge premium prices for the books okay if the value increases over time okay for this kind of books but the prop and they have six stores okay across the country now the issue is that due to economic climate okay the reason economic climate if the economy goes into recession the demand for this books will fall down if it takes an upturn demand will again increase so rather than just having the six stores and relying on the economic condition they are now considering to invest in e-commerce website for their books e-commerce website will run along their existing business existing business will be there the six stores but alongside they will also run the e-commerce website for their books okay so this is the whole i hope that you understood the whole case study now the question is the requirement is consider how heartless book could be marketed paying particular attention to e-commerce aspect of the plan okay and professional skill here is analysis in the wider context of e-commerce i'm going to show you how to uh, take analysis skills while answering okay if you go through the answer the answer is plenty very long enough which a student will not be able to write the problem is in test your understanding we don't know the amount of marks if it was marks that was given okay we can decide this is how much we need to write for the marks but since we are not given the marks and if you see the answer the solution all the possible solutions whatever students could write all the points they have given in the answer that's why you will see the answer is plenty long enough it is not the actual answer actual answer will be having one or two points only but the but the solution gives all the possible answers that's the reason the answer looks very big okay now the question is how they can be marketed see whenever they ask this question even in your sbl exam how a certain things certain product could be marketed immediately you have to think of what your 7p the model okay the marketing mix you can say the 7p's you have to link this model will help you to write your answer so what are the seven p's that we went through can you recall product price place promotion the additional three p's process people physical evidence so you need to link your answer with this in all the seven areas how they can market that's what the question is asking that is the best way even if you are not using the seven p's you ultimately will be talking about the seven p's only because there's no other way you can talk about this you cannot solve this answer in any other way okay so starting you can start in any order there is not a fixed order that you should always start with product or then price or anything order does not matter but make sure that this seven p's are there but give subheading okay when you're writing this answer you need to give a subheading for each for example when you're talking about price this is price under this you can write it's now up to you how many paragraphs you need to write one or two or three depending on the marks but since marks is not there let's just keep it open ended you can write as much as you want but generally half a page or two paragraph i think is enough right so when we are coming to the price i'm not going to read the answer but i'm going to tell you what is there in the answer i've already went through the answer okay normally okay which uh, see all your pricing techniques think come up with all the pricing techniques what do you use you could either charge low price for your books and penetrate the market or you could charge high price that is known as skimming which apple and all does technology products does skimming now tell me can you do this in the, in terms of heartless book because they are selling old books 50 years and above that is known as aquitarian books this is not normal type of books you cannot penetrate because these books are unfamiliar they they are unique they are unique so unique product you cannot penetrate the ma market penetration only works when you are working in a mass market when all products that you are offering is similar to the other product when there is a competition so you cannot penetrate penetrate is out what about skimming so you have to do analysis how are you going to show analysis skill whatever is working also you have to write if certain things are not working for this product this heartless book that also you have to write 
because you are doing an analysis that's why we are even though we know penetration is unlikely for this books you have to talk about it because you are doing an analysis here right skimming also will not work skimming also will work if the product that you are giving already there are products there but your product is superior to them in some way then you can charge high prices and bring the prices down later but this is very unique so even if you try to skim charge high prices not many customers will come to you in the initial days so this also will not likely to work okay so second paragraph usually they talk about the demand and the how the prices has to be according to the demand right that if the product becomes old and rare price might increase or if the economic climate deteriorates price will go down okay see the competition see whenever you talk about price talk about competition you need to talk about this whether it is low level or high level that will help you so because competition is low see your product is unique so competition is low okay we have to talk in terms of e marketing now okay so no need to discuss so we have to talk about website because e marketing website you will be having so no need to discount because you don't have a competition on the website so you can add this delivery charges to your normal price that would be charged in the shops even even online you can do that so in this case pricing is unlikely to be a key element of the marketing mix you cannot do much with the price here it's a normal see unlikely means in e marketing terms okay normally what you charge you add a delivery charge to your uh, normal price same way you have to do for e marketing so e marketing is not going to bring any impact in terms of price you understanding it's possible that's why that's why they have written the price first only because it will not have any impact usually product is the first one or price because it has no impact unlikely now we'll come to the second p that is place okay you can go through the answer place you need to think where where are books mostly sold in which places libraries physical stores okay so that is already there they already have six stores they are selling see so first paragraph give a little bit background about the for me the case study that they have six stores they are also going to have e-commerce website next you explain here how how they can market you have to think online always when they are marketing because we are talking about e e marketing e marketing e marketing so second is e marketing how they can market in this if you see the answer is lengthy enough you can give one or two need not it need not be given all but here they have given all the possible solutions so we'll go through all the possible solutions because some of you might come with the first some of you might come with the second some of you might think about the last one so we don't want to miss out on anything okay this is purely your thinking you need to be creative in this area in all the piece the last paragraph is where you are talking about the how you can market how you can market it's up to you every individual every student who is writing this answer will have different answers for it because you might come up with different things you might be thinking this is the way you can integrate this is the way you can bring it to e-commerce okay but keep it practical also something which uh, can be done in a practical world something which is feasible okay so think what can they do online what could they make available online they are already have six stores physically they are going to introduce online what are they going to do in that online additional things they might even uh, give see online they might uh, include things like autobiography or link to the author website right here they can store extra content content which are not available physically they can write it there online and give it so this could be one thing okay this is one second thing is they are giving all the possible solutions in one paragraph that's the issue that's why answer looks very plainly second could be reserve and collect facility they can include on the website that means you reserve for certain book and you come and collect it later when it is available on in the stores out of the six stores that also could be one see how creative you need to be here to think to think about this point this are not there in your textbook or the lectures which i'm going to which uh, i've just given 
you will not uh, come across through because this these are creative you need to think out of the box not out of the box but you need to think online how you can uh, make sure that there are sales of your books so reserve and collect something which is not there physically available you have to include it in on, on website like reserve and collect facility you reserve a book and you come and collect it okay third is promotion okay <clears throat> see promotion tell tell promotion which will not work for this and then we'll talk about promotion which will work for this okay like television radio advertising sales promotion will it work for this no unlikely to work for this because for the heartless book this has a small size of target market understand this i've told you what type of book it is for small size you cannot go through television radio advertising sales promotion because this they are for mass market but if you're having a target market which is small size okay so you can give them maybe in some specialized journal or magazines or you can go through some trade shows and exhibitions where your books will be sold right you might have some uh, certain events going on where you can go attend those events and through that you can even uh, get direct access to customers right you can even sponsor those or brand some of the event through which you might have access to the customer as well as you can increase the awareness of the company also and it will bring more hits on the website okay so there so some of you might stop till here okay there are some more answers to it we'll go through the answers it need not be that you are writing all the answers in one no maybe some of you might just write about sponsorship some of you might just write about having uh, trade events and all that's fine that's up to you depending on the marks because we don't have the marks so we are not boring too much that exactly this many points we have to write this is just an open-ended question we are just working on the possible solutions the students can come up with or you might have banner advert because it's an e-commerce don't forget sorry e-marketing so banner advert like on author website they can even have search engine popular search engine how are you going to search online this is a promotion so you can have popular search engines now through which if they search you will be on the top okay next product so in this case how you service your product okay the the which shops are sales made what is the range of the book that you sell in which area you can differentiate this is your product so basically product means we, we can even talk about service also don't always limit yourself because it's a product we should always talk about product no so it could be a service also okay the service that you give is a everything and experience that you are giving to the customer forms a part of a product only okay for example you can improve service by offering reading or viewing facility within the shop maybe you can hire some knowledgeable staff who can give experience of what the customers are looking for it's very important that you have such kind of stuff imagine if you ask someone the librarian what is the latest book that has just come or i want a book on business at this topic some topic will be given let's say branding you want a book on branding best book so if the staff is not knowledgeable they will not be able to facilitate you right so you can improve that okay and uh, maybe you can have some antique furniture for such as reading chairs and indexing keep your books range of books wide so that you can attract possible buyers see there could be all possible type of buyers not necessary always people want the best selling books best selling books no sometimes people look for those books also which is not so best selling but the content is very good so keep many range so that you can attract all possible buyers without losing any customer you can for heartless book you can even give them certificate of authenticity so that it provides reassurance to the buyer see always these are additional things which a student might have come up about come about nowhere uh, you will get it you need to do a little bit of thinking this is very required think from the point of a book industry if you're having a book let's always assume like this this is your company you are the one who's selling that book you want to give it in how are you able to how can you increase your sales how can you bring more and more customer just think like this what are the new new ways i can do don't be afraid to write it down 
okay now process see process means when you have to make a payment online now because you are having a e-commerce website so make sure that there's a clear security for the payment on the website if you are having a reserve and a collect facility where you're going to pay later collect later make sure this process is clear and simple don't make it very complicated okay see for example due to the nature of the product what is the nature of this product what is the process here key process that is in one is transportation the other one is delivery you need to transport books from someone and then you need to deliver these books this is the process so make sure that this, this this is delicate and fragile in nature some books are fragile and very delicate so make sure that for customers they can choose their own career maybe they can choose their own career in order to be safe you can add worldwide delivery so that you can touch upon many customers you can make sure that your website in your website they offer, they accept many different payment so that you can maximize sales maybe for regular customer you can make sure that personal details can be stored for people next is people i think this is the last p no physical evidence we have okay people so people make sure people when we are talking about we are talking about stuff basically okay so think in the book industry customers will come and ask questions right or even if they don't ask questions from you they will go online and search questions about that book if they are interested in that book so for that make sure that your internet site is backed up with knowledgeable service stuff that if any question is asked they can answer on the book see initial days okay early days of the site you'll be having low number of sales so because of that you will be keeping low stuff but as soon as your sales increase make sure you increase the service, you increase the number of stuff and be very flexible in your timing because sometimes staff uh, customers can ask questions anytime there's no fixed time that from this time to this time only you have to keep stuff no make sure that 24 7 there is some stuff available especially when there's the highest demand make sure more staff is there to answer questions okay this fascinating is to be supported with email support also okay because many customers may not be shopping when stores are closed they may be shopping at times when stores are closed so make sure email support is there rather than just talking now physical evidence physical evidence means we are talking about the website only it should be easy to navigate and well presented very important one important is search facility how can they search do they have the search facility can they search any type of any books that they want do they have that thing there where they can search for the books okay there should also be a request option where they could request that if a particular book is not there they can write it request for that particular book another aspect that may be offered could be a buying facility where they could buy remember hardless book is different they will not have supplies like other bookshops because their books are different so make sure that they can have customers can buy okay so the internet might provide an excellent opportunity to source a rare books which could be sold on a profit through other shops or the website right if you have a rare you can make profit anywhere remember rare product makes profit anywhere whether it's online whether it's offline now so we have finished okay i hope that this helps you how to answer a question like this the thing is professional skills professional skills is whether you have used the 7p model how, how you linked with the case study right that this book is different how you understood that this book is different compared to other bookshops you didn't treat it like other bookshop it has low competition supplies are not like there you understood the model the process so these things will give you analysis skills okay so that's it now we'll move on to the six eyes the six eyes stands for interactivity intelligence independence of location industry structure individualization and integration 
now let us discuss in detail what each of this means so if you are doing marketing okay e-marketing it should be interactive okay interactive means it's a two-way thing you are able to build a two-way communication traditional media was a push media where you sell your messages you want to say how good your product is but you don't receive the feedback from customers from the other side the customers are not able to communicate with you the com the marketing message in fact was broadcast from company to customer and interaction was very limited okay but when it came to the internet what happens now customers can seek information on a web customers can look it's a two way thing so it's a pull mechanism you are pulling customers towards you they come and they search for information on a web so it is becoming interactive because customers are becoming part of it now second intelligence internet can be used as a low cost method for collecting marketing information okay information means what nowadays information means intelligence the more information you have the correct information the right source of information the more intelligent you are okay the website also records information of how intelligent see the machines have become intelligent now because website can record information every time a user clicks on a link it analyzes it so according to that now they can decide the machine the website will know what type of promotions to offer which products are being demanded the more by what type of customers so they will see and they will make they will have a pattern okay they will create a pattern and you can see third i is for individualization where you can communicate your uh, communications to a particular individual you can tailor it to a particular individual rather than giving the same message to the mass uh, customer in the traditional media what was it same message was given to everyone now it is not like that any longer every individual can be given given different different messages okay in fact to manage customer personalization has become very important now right every customer who visits a particular site is profiled okay every time you whenever you go to a site you are you are profiled so that when you make a next visit accordingly they will know what type of what are you looking for so accordingly they will display those interest industry structure the fourth i the relationship between a company and its channel partners can be altered by the opportunities that are available on the internet industry structure has changed entirely because of the internet for example this intermediation re-intermediation we went through all this in the uh, e-business what is this intermediation what is re-intermediation right because of internet a lot out of lot of the intermediaries between the manufacturer and the customer went are wiped off now you can directly sell to the customer this intermediation re-intermediation means some new uh, intermediaries came because of the internet like amazon right then we have integration it's an integrated communication tool now internet customers can respond they can give feedback they can criticize it can have a direct response or callback facility also built in sometimes we can call back them directly also it's there it can even be used to support buying decision also okay even if there is no purchase that has happened through internet okay with web specific phone numbers on websites they will still give you some phone numbers on websites so in case if you want to make some phone numbers and clarify certain issues and then want to make a decision you can do it because now it is integrated everything is integrated into one independence of location you don't have to depend on any location now wherever you want to buy 24 7 is a service is available now we are moving on to the third part of the lecture from six eyes that is e-branding we know what is branding 
e-branding is just the same but the branding is done on the internet but before that know what is brand for those who does not know what is brand the definition if you want to know it's a name it could be a symbol term mark or any design that helps the customers to differentiate your product from the competitor there are so many symbols that are very famous apple has its own symbol pizza then there are so many other products mcdonald's have that m right in yellow color so all those things is there pepsi coca cola they have their own this thing when it comes to e branding okay what will be the what will be your website design your search engine optimization this are the component that will build your e brand your corporate branding your e commerce so what are the e branding strategies there are some strategies through which you can brand e brand electronic branding okay see same strategies like normal branding but it is on websites now that is the only difference place has changed strategy remains the same now organization has to decide on the website style what should be the quality what should be the commercial offers that are consistent with the existing brand see it has to be consistent with your existing brand okay or you can offer a slightly amended product slightly you change a product or a service but it is still connected to the original brand okay maybe you just change certain words for example under certain the product is same but you just added that online after the original brand name for example timesonline.co.uk okay so this everything remains the same but the products are slightly different from the paper based approach because they give real time information which is not there in the paper by the time you receive the paper information has become one day old but in time sign online you will get the real up to date information that is where slightly it's different otherwise everything is same next you can form a partnership with an existing brand third way you can do is form a partnership with an existing brand or you can create an entirely new brand which is different from your existing brand maybe you want to emphasize uh, a more modern or a flexible approach right financial institutions has been doing it like hbos and if hbos they run a conventional banking operation and if is a direct finance operation that makes high use of the internet now we'll illustrate this okay how e branding you know what is aspirin what is that aspirin it's that tablet the moment you take it instant pain relief it gives you instant pain relief right the way it is sentences provides instant pain relief that is their brand positioning but if the same thing you have to give online in a web is it, will it be meaningful provides instant pain relief because it's through online how can you relieve someone's pain online let's say you are having a headache and if you write it on the internet on on your web the same thing same statement instant pain relief will it be helpful you cannot get instant pain relief on the web it's logic great common sense so what management has done they changed the word what did they do rather they changed the statement when it's online they wrote your self help brand this offers visitors more meaningful health oriented intelligence and self help over the internet the moment you write self help that means help yourself by taking this you are helping the customers in fact online so this makes it more helpful and more useful also it gives a more meaning when it's online okay compare this with a traditional marketing okay e branding even like traditional branding what do, uh, what is their aim they want to create specific brand image only whether whether traditional whether e brand but the way they create and the manage the tools that they use is now offered by the internet that is the difference otherwise objective is the same what is objective you create awareness why do you do your branding 
so that you can create an awareness you can create a distinction mark from your rivals and you can develop loyal customers that's why you do branding but both forms are different also in many aspects they are different like how information needs to be delivered in a more efficient manner when it's e branding you have to de de deliver information in a more efficient manner how it requires more visual identity yes e branding you need more visual identity you need a proper web present with colorful with good colors easier to find your website should be something which is easier to find it needs to be interactive where customers can come and give you feedback and it should be something which could be more easily evolve easily it has to be changed e branding could easily be changed compared to traditional branding easily you cannot evolve now we are moving on to the last part of our lecture the fourth and the most important majority of the chances are in your exam majority of the chances if you get any question from this lecture is majority of is here this is a big portion and majority of the chances that you will get a question from this area are more compared to the other areas e branding and all those stuff customer relationship management okay what is it see e business plays a very important role when it comes to manage your customer okay through that you can either acquire or you can manage your customer okay so that is known as customer relationship management way when you are online you are acquiring you are managing you are retaining your customer so that they become loyal and they become repeat customer that process is known as customer relationship management crm okay research has identified two very important things regarding e business number 1 around 20 to 30 percent says acquiring new online customer is more expensive than traditional business acquiring customers online is more expensive 20 to 30% more expensive than traditional business why is it so it looks a little shocking right why in online is more difficult than traditional business because in online you are facing a big 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 competition you are a part of a big competition now but when it's a traditional business you have a very limited competitors and retaining an extra 5% of customer even 5% extra customer you retain online it can boost your profit up to 25 to 95% trust me on this i am telling you this because i have got the results when i did my analysis right i have my youtube analytics it tells me how many customers am i retaining subscribers am i retaining how many subscribers am i losing and you won't believe that i don't i i just work on my content okay i just work on my uh, my attention on those few subscribers who are attentively listening my lecture who are there and it brings it boost my revenue number 1 number 2 my subscriber all the all the numerics if you see the value just went up i would say around 70 to 80% it boost the revenue of my channel the growth of my channel just by focusing on that two or three percent of my subscriber the, the ones who actually are interested in watching and who actually guys help by giving them service by giving them the time attention it boost so it actually does in regard to it actually does crm can aid an organization how customer relationship management can help an organization in following this in three ways it can help we are we are focused on these three things only in the lecture number one is customer acquisition how can you acquire customer second how do you retain them you have acquired them now you need to retain them so that you are not losing them to competitors that means repeat customers three is extension you extend the customer that means same customer you have but you increase the reach of product that this customers are buying from you so remember these three terms customer acquisition customer retention customer extension and the meanings you might get this in the exam first we'll see customer acquisition how you can acquire customers and all okay through this ways and we are going to go in detail also in each first is search engine marketing because now it is on online 
no longer you're going to go and search for the customer or shout out or give in the local newspaper no search engine marketing through search engine second online pr online partnership interactive adword opt in email viral marketing evaluating online customer be how to evaluate your online customer behavior recency frequency and monetary value okay the last three points bullet points are not a way of acquiring customer they are the way of how do you evaluate the online customer behavior okay so now we'll go through the search engine marketing you need to know certain terms here okay very important first is search engine optimization you must have heard about this a lot of times this word comes popping up especially if you have a youtube channel i'm sure most of you do have or if you are planning to do one you should know what is search engine optimization see when you search certain terms right why do you see certain things always comes up on the list top and how is it there on the top because they have optimized it usually when you are in the top only you will search those things no one wants to go down and go to the next page and next page and see what is there in the bottom first three pages only maximum people will view right so so search engine optimization op optimization means you are putting certain key terms of phrases which people search commonly they search most of the time they keep searching so if you put those terms and phrases in your this thing the moment you search it will appear on the top and also there are so many other techniques to do it's just not the words or the phrases but uh, we should let's not go into detail okay because it improves the position of the company so the moment you are there on the top list shows that you have a high position your company is at a is ranking higher than others so it's easy for you to acquire customers if you are in the top search list how can you do that you increase the number of inbound links to a page through link building can improve the ranking with google only people who have done this will understand try to open a youtube channel or try to make sure that they are ranked first in the google will understand what we are talking about inbound links link building and all those things next is pay per click pay per click means an advert is displayed by search engine as a sponsored link you must have seen this try google and see whenever you try to search something in the search engine you button you type something first three will be some sponsored link right you will see sponsored link it's an ad they display those ad okay so the advertiser they pay a fee to the search engine team what do the advertiser do the one whose adverts are there what do they do they paid a fee to the search engine team the advert is clicked the time the advert is clicked so the moment you get a click you have to pay pay per click that's how you acquire customer next trusted fee this are all way of your how you market through search engine trusted feed feed database uh, driven sites such as travel shopping auctions are very difficult to optimize for search engine okay if you see they are not even uh, much visible also but trusted feed works by allowing a trusted third party usually that is a search engine marketing company only to feed a website's entire online inventory directly into the search engine's own database by bypassing the usual submission process you don't have to submit anything and go through that you can bypass it and tell the search engine optimization to give your entire inventory online in the in the feed then we have online pr online public relation you can do through media alerting services you can use online media you can use journalist for press release portal representation see portals are websites that act as a gateway to info through this you can get information 
okay even they have certain search engines and directories attached to it business blogs this can be used to showcase the expertise of its employees community c2c portals it is e equivalent of a village notice board okay example let's say an oil company they want to set a discussion forum okay they want to discuss certain things so they will set a discussion forum on his website so that they can discuss uh, information about issues like pollution and all so that they can do online now okay then online partnerships you can do link building okay by having quality content you are linking other sites with quality content okay so the moment you link others they will link yours to your their site so link building you are supporting each other partnerships affiliate marketing what is it it's a commission based arrangement where an e retailer you will get a commission for it e retailer pays uh, sites that links to is for sales for example amazon does this okay if you sell their product if you promote their product on your channel through your link uh, the um, the sale that amazon does some percentage of it will go to you okay because you have mentioned about amazon's let's say you have mentioned a book of amazon on your site so because of that you will get some fee from amazon the sales that they are going to make some commission of it that is known as affiliate marketing you are marketing the amazon's product but it's an affiliate market you are also getting the benefit some commission sponsorship web surfers are more likely to trust the integrity of a firm sponsoring a website when you sponsor a website you can trust them more rather than those who use trade ads then co-branding to build your online partnerships you can do co-branding by your brand with right this is a lower cost form of sponsorship co-branding means your product is labeled with two brand names for example as well as including details about their car the website subaru.com includes immediate co-branded insurance codes with liberty mutual insurance and pages devoted to outdoor lifestyle developed with llb aggregators what is the meaning of aggregators this is a comparison site that allows customers to compare different product features and pr price so the moment they can compare different product and uh, features and price right it's good for the customer for example money supermarket.com allows analysis of financial service products interactive adword banners through banners you can do banners are what they are simple advertisements on website where you can just click okay and then customers can surf to the adver advertiser's website second is a rich media rich media means many web users have, they are immune to conventional banner ad okay so firms have tried increasingly to make their ads more noticeable now through the use of animation because they know if it's a conventional banner ad you me we are just going to ignore it because we are so used to it now we don't care about it we don't look at it so to make it more noticeable what do they do they now include animation they make it in a larger format right one example is an animated ad for barclays banking service this will appear on some business startup sites then some ads are more interactive and will change depending on user mouse movements for example generating a slideshow if you have seen some ads do that opt in email you must have got this as well okay 80% of all the emails are what they are spams or viruses okay only 10% respond 
see our only survey oh sorry one survey found only 10 percent of emails were not delivered example did you spam filled 30 percent were open 8 percent resulted in click through so options for email include what this options for email it could be a cold rented list what do the retailer do they buy an email list from the provider such as Experian okay co-branded email means what your bank sends you an email advertising in a mobile phone your bank sends you email advertising a mobile phone third party newsletter the retailers advertise itself in a third party's newsletter house list email list build up in house from previous customers okay viral marketing viral market you don't have to know all this in detail but just knowing the different ways of acquiring customer is enough okay so that's why i'm going a bit faster also you must be seeing why am i going too fast that's the reason viral marketing is email is used to transmit a promotional message from one person to another okay next the viral ad should be a clever idea or it could be a game or a shocking idea that is compulsive so people send it to their friends see if something is, is viral it may be something is of uh, is very clever something uh, the idea is very shocking right so that you are compelled to send it to your friends and then it becomes viral right now we are over with how we are acquiring customers now we want to move on towards how you evaluate online customers behavior because through this also you will know how to acquire them if you evaluate the online behavior there are three ways you can evaluate one is known as a recency frequency monetary value analysis short form stands for rfm r for re uh, recency f for frequency m for monetary value analysis this is the main model that anyone uses if they want to classify online buyer behavior so what is recency recency means the time since a customer completed an action for example purchase the site will see the email response consider to be a good indicator of potential repeat purchases if it's a repeat purchases this is a very good indicator you see the recency vulnerable customers can be specifically targeted okay now frequency the number of times of an action is completed what is the number of times an action is completed in a specific time period for example five logins per week or a related concept is known as latency what is latency average time between actions that means what is the time taken between first and second purchases is it too long is it too short if it's too long make sure it's short so that they buy more so this together recency and frequency okay allows the firm to put in place triggers that alert them to behavior outside the norm for example a customer may be taking too long between first and second purchase what could you do you make sure that time is reduced and make it short so you bring them more offer give them an email now monetary value okay this monetary value can be measured in different ways such as average order value or total annual purchases okay high monetary value is a good indicator that means the more higher your value is your customer is loyal and even in future your purchases will be high okay so if you have to give any special promotions and all you can exclude you don't have to include this type of customer the, the ones who are loyal the ones who are not loyal for them you have to give them promotions some discounts like that now we are moving on to second customer acquisition is over now after you have acquired make sure you, you, they are retained also how do you, how are they retained if you satisfy them customer satisfaction so how do you measure customer satisfaction there are various ways one is tangible okay by giving them tangible by satisfying their tangible needs for example they will see whether the physical ability satisfy them or not something which they can touch tangible for sometimes something which they can see 
for online quality if it's an online how are they satisfied the key issue is what appearance and appeal of website what is the appearance of website see if your websites are appealing customers will go often in that websites okay like your graphic design the quality of the content the ease at what they are able to use it what is the speed of the upload and frequency of the update all this matters a lot second is reliability after tangible reliability how reliable it is the service that you have promised to deliver here also because it's online how reliably online services reliability means what how easy it is to connect to the website for example some websites you see they are inaccessible if they are inaccessible some of the time okay then customers will lose confidence in that retailer you have to make sure you are accessible all the time third is responsiveness how you respond because the more you respond it looks like you are willing to help customers okay in the context of e business what happens if there is a delay of you responding to customers issue they will look for elsewhere you are going to lose this customers out okay so don't keep your emails unanswered for too long fourth is assurance okay assurance means it is the knowledge and the courtesy of the employees and their ability to inspire trust and confidence also for an online retailer it looks at two issues one is what is the quality of the response and the other one is the privacy or the security of the customer information quality of response depends on what is your competent what is your credibility how uh, what is your courtesy whether the questions has been answered uh, in a nice way then empathy okay how caring are you for the customer are you giving them individual attention that they need okay see most people assume empathy can occur through a personal human contact only okay you can even achieve this by giving them a personalized websites by writing their name in the email so that they feel more wanted and more needed they feel like they are being heard more right see here the customers need to feel that they are understood online if you are doing it how if you recommend those type of products which customers can never even thought of dreaming like buy, uh, dream of buying it will erode empathy they will feel that they are not being understood but if you recommend them those type of products which they feel okay we can buy this then yes they will feel that they are understood and they'll be satisfied also now techniques for retaining customer personalization you personalize when you are delivering some content or giving them an email make sure you personalize it mass customization you can give them customized content to group of users through some web pages or emails amazon does this they recommend a particular book based on what particular customers have ordered extranet dell computers do that they use an extranet to provide additional services to its dell premier customers what is an extranet extranet is a where every all uh, the all the stakeholders of the company are connected not just internal external also as well as your suppliers and customers are connected see internet is global extranet is not global it's only for the organizations customers suppliers uh, managers employees okay then next technique is opt in email here you ask customers what they wish to receive okay whether they wish to receive further offers or not if they don't you don't give them online communities we have where they can chat and discuss what issues are they can see whether they have common issue that are not solved or what are the solutions right customers each customers they come and write there then third is customer extension you are giving a lifetime value for customer you are increasing it you resell the similar products to previous sales 
you cross sell directly related products upsell more expensive products okay for example you bought a book from amazon you could be contacted with the offers of other books once you have bought a book from amazon you could have contact with the offers of other books also you are selling them now more expensive products okay you reactivate customers who have not bought anything for some time reactivate them again now we are going to learn certain terms again it is known as propensity modeling what is propensity modeling this evaluates customers behavior and they make recommendations also in the future for example if you brought anything from amazon each time you log on there will be recommendation of other products that you are interested in that is known as propensity modeling this involves the following create automatic product relationships through monitoring which products are typically bought together so you see which two products are usually bought together you see that second using trigger words or phrases like you can see customers who bought this or also bought this type of product. you will see this when you search for something at down they will see customers also bought customers who bought this why do they say this so that they can they can induce you to the payment they can make you also that okay others also bringing it i also should get it they want you to feel in that way so that they can extend their product towards you offering related products at checkout batteries for electronic goods they know if you buy electronic goods you definitely need a battery also so they will give it and why at the checkout because at the checkout you will not have so much of time to take a decision time is short you will be in a hurry to go so automatically when you have to make a decision at hand you will automatically say yes that's how it works most of the time now sense okay when you have to extend your sense you respond and you adjust sense means what you monitor their behavior and you classify them according to value growth responsiveness and detect defection risk okay and you respond with timely and relevant communications and you adjust you monitor response and you continue with additional communications now illustration there is an illustration for this to understand amazon website okay they do home delivery of products home delivery of products so they are doing so which p are they utilizing or other seven p place and independence of location to acquire customers okay here they do not need any location so which out of the six eyes are they making use of independence of location to acquire customer to get the customer because location is not important for amazon second customers can write reviews and read other people's reviews of products so what are they doing promotion out of the seven piece which p are they using promotion and out of the six eyes which one interactivity where they are giving reviews customers giving reviews means interactivity to what to retain customers not acquired customer to retain customer because people who give review means they have been your customer for a long time so they are already retain you need to retain them now based on the previous buying habit other products are recommended this is intelligence out of the six eyes and also individualization it could affect more than one eye because it is for individual per person uh, products that are recommended are different why is it to acquire retain or extend extend already they are buying from you they are retain you want to extend so that they buy more from you customers who bought this product also bought this product again you are using intelligence and promotion also so that you extend same extend and order tracking you are using what integration to retain customers so that's ah uh, we have more prices of new and used items are displayed okay this is to what acquire customer if you see price of new items are lower than conventional shops okay very smart looking interface this is a physical evidence out of the p to acquire as well as retain customer 
if it's for the first time acquired if it's after a certain time you are retaining customer search facility again to acquire customer and you are using interactivity also email if orders are delayed this is a process and individualization also because you are giving uh, personalized uh, emails uh, this is to retain customer allowing a wish list facility this is a process and individualization to retain customer so that's it for the e marketing now we are going to summarize what we have discussed just give me one minute okay so for e-marketing we started with the seven piece product price place promotion people process physical evidences then we move to six size starting for individualization interactivity independence of location industry structure intelligence and integration and then we ended with e-branding it is a digital asset it different it helps to differentiate and create competitive advantage it is different from maybe different from online brand it is harder to stand out remember in e-branding is more harder than on uh, traditional brand and it can be more interactive okay then we ended with how you acquire retain and extend customer the various ways so that's it for this lecture see you in lecture 25 that will be the last lecture under your data and technology so till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and see you the next lecture.